It is August 10th. Is today still 10th? Is it the 11th? It's the 11th. Yeah, okay. It's August 11th and it is currently 6 o'clock in the evening. 1800. 1800. And we are just now packing up to get ready to leave. Um, we had to wait on quite a few things today that we weren't expecting to leave this late, but it is what it is. Everything's good. So I'm currently holding him. He's sleeping. Toby's packing up so that way we can get out of here. Um, we were both doing really good. We already signed discharge papers and we are going to go home, finally. So, this is your little going home outfit, which is too big for him. It is a newborn outfit and it's still too big. He is such a small little guy. Wishing you would call me So I could see my baby I know that things get crazy Because you're always busy Just know it doesn't faze me when you Okay, I have yet to actually explain what's going on um, so we are currently driving back to Texas from Pennsylvania. Um, we are currently in Ohio, so just a state away. But we got both the boys, just watching his iPad, and Nova sleeping. So I'm back here, just entertained a little bit, and fed Nova. And we have 25 hours left in our drive. We're debating on trying to go the whole way through and just keep driving or stopping somewhere to stay the night. Um, kind of just playing it by ear, seeing how it goes. We got the trailer hooked up behind us. Got a bunch of pillows and blankets in the back for when we need those doing pretty good so far. We're only, what, like four hours in? Yeah, we're only like four hours in, so <laughs> got a ways to go, but I'll keep you guys updated. And we are actually moving into a new house. Today is the 23rd and we move into our house the 26th. So we gave ourselves a couple days and if we have to stay at the hotel on post, we'll do that. We are moving into Rio Bravo, a four bed, two and a half bath. So that'll be nice. Very excited for that. Um, we'll have a couple days to get moved in before Toby has to get back to work. Actually, we'll have about a week, won't we? Yeah, we'll have about a week before Toby has to actually sign back in and go to work. So we got plenty of time to get a good amount of stuff in the house. All right, we'll see you in the next update. Okay, we're at our first big stop where everybody's out of the Jeep. I have Nova here, just hanging out. We're at Walmart, actually, back here in the back. Say hi. Hi. And Toby's fixing up the trailer a little bit. Um, because one of the straps kept falling. Somebody got new monster trucks. 
Once Toby gets the strap down, we'll get back on the road again. Darkish. What color is your truck? Green. Green. Good job. Alrighty, it is the next day. We stopped in Nashville, Tennessee to stay the night at, I think we got here at 9.30 last night. Um, and it is now 9.40 in the morning and we are heading out of Nashville. Um, our goal is to make it to Abilene, Texas and that's 12 hours away. Which leaves us like... Yeah, it'll leave us like six, six hours. Six hours to yeah, six Paso. hours to El Paso the next day, so that's the goal. See hi, Weston. Can you say hi? Good job. And Nova is sleeping, so I get to be up front for hopefully, hopefully like two <laughs> hours, yeah. <laughs> um, but we ate breakfast at the hotel. Stayed at a really nice hotel, actually. It was really nice. Um, we stayed at Brentwood Suites, and we had a. Um, Said, yeah, it was, it was like California. It was a king. We had a one king bed. There's since no way we that was a king. That was huge. It was. It said king. It, we stayed. We had a one king bed, and all four of us slept in it. We had tons of room, which was awesome. Um. So I'm saying we might have to trade our queen. I know that's that, the size of a king. Yeah, that bed is awesome. <laughs> um. So, really nice room. Really nice hotel. I'm glad we stayed there. <clears throat> Got some good sleep. And I'll update you guys. Ooh, chiropractic. Update you guys in a little bit. Next. Final stretch, we just had the last stop before we get to El Paso. About two hours left. 117 miles. How you feel, babe? Tired. Yeah, same. We got a coffee, we got some McDonald's to hold us over until maybe we can have a decent dinner tonight. Actually, what are you eating? Texas Roadhouse. No. Raising canes. Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Applebee's, baby. Weston, you say hi? hi. All right, 
We will update you when we are in El Paso. No, all of them are free breadsticks. All of them sucked. <laughs> Good morning. It is the 26th and it is move-in day. We're still in the hotel right now getting everything packed up and ready to get out of here. Um, we got to meet the yeah we got to meet the housing office in about an hour. So we're getting packed up so we can get out of here and be there on time. You say hi. Hi. It's not focusing. There we go. Got all of our bags packed. We got Nova sleeping. No. Taking those snooze. Maybe not. Might be waking up. You ready to go into the new house? No. You don't want to play with the toys? Yeah. <laughs> we also got to pick up groceries. We did a pickup of a, a lot of things because we need literally everything. All right, we'll see you guys at the new house. All right, guys, we are in our new house. We are in the Rio Bravo housing, four bed, two and a half bath. Um, I will do a house tour whenever we get everything in here just because we're already unloading, so an empty house store just won't won't be really worth it. So huh. you don't need to show off my sham shield. <laughs> um, Nova was a little bit grumpy. He just wants to be awake and with everybody, so I'm holding him. We got the Jeep unloaded. We're unloading the trailer right now. Uh, we have the boys set up in the back. <laughs> Right there, you can kind of see, right there. Um, so, I'm gonna try to help as much as I can, get stuff unloaded, so we can go get more stuff from our storage unit. And this kid just filled his diaper again. So I'm gonna go take care of that.